there is no place like Africa. Welcome to Undeniably African. I am the Queen, and it is such an honor to be with you on this incredible Wednesday. In me, with me, what? in the studio, I am joined by two kings and a queen. So for those of you that are joining us for the very first time, um, we just want to give you a bit of housekeeping. So as undeniably African, we believe that Africa is more than just a continent. We are a kingdom. And so we don't refer to each other by just our names. We are kings and we are queens because we are not sleeping like the world says, but um, we have always been reigning and we are royalty. So kings, may you please tell us who you are and what it is that you're doing for our kingdom. All right. Um, my name is Dumsan Moyo and also known as the hike man okay um we're from hike zw well, people ask why is it w we zimbabwe yes so we have to represent that's true you, you really <laughs> have to represent well welcome to undeniably african thank you so much for joining us today and um my name is tapio nashirusike aka taps aka lover boy part and <laughs> parcel of hikers zw thank you for tuning in thank you so much for having us so for those of you that are just um joining us listening to us on our website please can you connect with us on our facebook page because we are streaming live on facebook follow the page newsday dash zimbabwe when we've got somebody online tungi chipendo thank you so much for joining us so gentlemen tell us what is hiker zimbabwe why 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 hiking because you know before you guys came in we were talking about the lack of different things to do in Harare. I yeah. mean, if I see you at Five Avenue, <laughs> chances are uh, within the hour, I'll see you in Newlands. And oh, yeah, true. By maybe, if we push it so, below your road, uh, I'll yeah, see, I'll definitely. see you there. So, so how did you guys start Hikers Zimbabwe? Just tell us a bit more about that. All right. Um, Hikers Zimbabwe started as a one-man gang, mm -hmm. an initiative that started like sometime last year in February. It's actually a year old. It was one of those, one of those days I was like, oh yeah, I want to go hiking. Right. Who wants to join me? And that's how it all started. Would you believe the first time only had two people that like, joined me? Really? Yeah, two people. Why why was that? People went but people not interested. I know before I started hiking, I was like, hey, hiking. I mean, it just seemed so laborious. I don't um, think it's about the interest. I think it's about mm, people not knowing. Yeah. That's true. That there's there's such a movement. Right. Yeah. So it's not really about people not knowing. People know there are places to go in Zimbabwe, yeah, but absolutely. they don't have the access. Right. So we're trying to bring that access to the people. Exactly. So you guys, how do you guys, you know, what do you guys do? Is there a WhatsApp group? How do people connect with you? Um, No WhatsApp group. Okay. Yes, my group on it. <laughs> yes, especially my WhatsApp group. My WhatsApp group on So right. what we then do is um, we utilize the social media. Okay. We are on Facebook, we are on WhatsApp, we are on Twitter, we are on um, Instagram. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we identify places and then we invite you to come along. Right. You say, come on, we want to go to this place, but you're free to join us. So if you are interested, holla. Right, and we do the thing. And where are some of the exciting places that you guys have gone to, to hike so far? Ah, the one place that I'll say is most exciting was uh, Shawanoi. Shawanoi, yes, that wasn't much of a hike, it it's was really trekking. trekking. Trekking, okay. So, schoolers, what, what's the difference? Hike, ha no, 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 hiking really? is going up a mountain, okay. Trekking is walking okay. through the wilderness, enjoying nature right yeah exactly okay. all of it encompassing sightseeing right so what we do is fitness orientated also that's good because i know that your other name is you the fitness fitness hunk fitness hunk <laughs> <laughs> okay well yeah, i love yeah, yeah. that so for those of you that would like to connect with the hikers the fitness um the fitness hunk king Dumisani and king tapio get in touch with us on our whatsapp number that's plus two six three seven three two hundred four thousand Connect with us on social media. That is Heart and Soul Zim. So tell me, you say that what you guys are doing is social hiking. Yes. Social hiking. Mm -hmm. So now, what's the difference between just hanging out, you know, and having a having a braai? What What are some of the great memories that you guys have had for from your from your hikes? Um, okay, the difference really is instead of us just chilling by the backyard, mm -hmm. why not just bring the party to the wilderness? Take Bring the there. party to the wilderness. Yeah. I like that. So there's a party element to what you guys do. Yeah, because the idea is just to go out there, have fun. Right. Socialize. 
have fun. If you drink, hey, bring your drinks. Let's do the thing. So you guys are doing BYOB Mugomo. <laughs> <laughs> so what you guys are like trekking up with like cooler boxes of drinks. Yeah, yeah. Back, 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 ice with the drinks there. We lug it all the way up to the top, yeah. sit down, enjoy ourselves. And Watch the sunset like, with a little bit of rosé, you know? Yeah, wow. Okay, I, really, I like that. that that's, that's different. That, that is really, really different. I know that you guys have a, a hike that's coming up. We're just going to get into a short musical interlude and then you guys can tell us a bit more about yeah. where you guys are hiking next what people can do if they want to join you guys um to hike and then um we're going to hear more from from the kings from harare that are taking hiking by storm and what else we have in store so coming up next we've got a song by baloji so an undeniably african we love listening to music that you wouldn't normally listen to day by day we like intergenerational collaboration so this is a collaboration um, by Baloji, but he was sampling the music of Nigerian legend Fela Kuti. One, two, three, four. Uh -oh. Malédiction du sous-sol prend le dessus L'Afrique au 36e dessous Marée de pétrole, placenta Des formations professionnelles au Merta Pour les hommes d'appareil, les hommes d'apparat Adeptes des coups de canif dans les contrats Les intellos ne citent que des écrivains morts Et n'acceptent que des devises au nom de présidents morts Car elles ne portent que du wax hollandais Pour eux le pain sac c'est l'étiquette attachée Pas de garantie sur du Chinese lobby Même lutte au plus de casse, ici est mise à prix On fait parler des chiffres, montre les stats Tarifs pour les locaux, tarifs d'expat Le marché souffle, le chaud et les froids Car la croissance se crée pas d'emploi de l'histoire d'un continent enclavé réservoir où les tyrans ne meurent pas ils se multiplient font de leur village en France où les bases se replient là où les conflits ethniques Paul Max servent à désigner ici son bronze pilate en odeur de sainteté depuis les paraboles pour se réapproprier tous nos symboles que ces entreprises de démolition opposent nos tribus et leurs nations mais les tribus comme les Yorba bah, sont de par millions Donc c'est qu'une question d'interprétation Connotation réductrice Ancien régime en exercice Bah africain en libre service And that is by Africa by Baloji featuring Monsample and Fela Kuti. So, you know, there's this whole big movement around, you know, buying African products, buying, you know, African goods and all of these things. Are you guys going to branch out into, you know, your own hiking, hiking gear? She doesn't know. It's 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 in the pipeline. Yeah. Maybe I think maybe Nyanga will be coming through with something. Something, yeah. yeah. Just a little yeah, bit of yeah, this. The, something the small. Thing that we can then do because I mean hiking. Mm. You need you need to be prepared. Of course, I was yeah. about to say what what sort of gear you can go and I become a palm sango in my rafters. Or, you know what sort of gear do people need to to rock when they when they're hiking? Um. Definitely a must have is like proper hiking shoes. Right. Chinchine grip. 
Okay. Because you need comfortable shoes that are good enough group mm -hmm. and um, wear comfortable clothes. Right. That's and you're free and isn't it free. yeah it's can't really come in my tights no nothing like that okay perfect so i know you guys have got um a hike that's coming up tell us a bit a bit about that all right uh we've got we've got to go shopper coming up this sunday okay it's more of trekking than hiking all right yeah so we'll be going to marondera on the the 24th okay so that's where we're heading just that's share that. fun on a, a sunday meeting up at 11 30 Fifth Avenue, come through. <laughs> so you've got, we've got the, P, the PR team over here. <laughs> so tell us, okay, people are meeting at Fife Avenue, 11 o'clock. Yeah. 11 okay, and then you guys carpool. Yeah, we'll carpool. Exactly. carpool. And then what all people do is just come. Is there like an entrance fee or you pay Google Shop? Out, out, no, out? there is an entrance fee, a joining fee per day. Like it's 20, 25 now. Okay. Right, that will cover your your transport if you're not driving. If you're driving, yes, there's a discount, obviously. Right, of course. Because we're using your car. Right, right, right. So, right, so right. there is a discount. You okay. pay 15 bucks. Okay. But for those that are not driving, you pay 25. That will cover your transport and entrance. Brilliant. So now, if people want to get in touch with you, what numbers should they contact you on? Um, you can get in touch with me on 0776 445 615. That's WhatsApp only. Please do not call or okay. send a text message. No one will read that message. Okay. No, no yes. unnecessary sliding into the DMs, please. <laughs> Business only. <laughs> yes, well, you, since, since, since you are the, 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 the hike hunk, the fitness hunk, you never know. So please just repeat that number again a bit a little, a little bit slower. All right. It's 0776-445-615. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, earlier we were talking about hiking. You know, some people go to mountains for, for prayer. Some people go for rituals. Have you either experienced any of this or you just like, you know what, we're going to go have, have a good time. I think in Murewa, we saw some people. Yeah. My poster. Yeah. Okay. They were, and um, Goma Kodera. Okay. Yeah, we did experience that because yes, the most of these places, yes, we know they're sacred, but right. the idea is to adhere to the rules that were told. Yes, that's because I know if we're to go to a place, you have to ask the people around you. To yes. Say, Tell us about this place. Right. So that we, we are guided accordingly. There that's are do's and don'ts. Okay. There are things that you need to follow and things that you don't need to do. Of course. So, so that we yeah right so Just tell us the place so you guys are, are you hiking every weekend every month is it a, is this a monthly thing it's a monthly thing okay because look if you can do it once a month i mean it becomes more more easier and That's more true. fun to do it fun. once a month so that you can link up link up every day becomes boring that's true not to go on any more, to yes, be honest. That's true. <laughs> and 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 when, when you look at it there's also an issue about your marriage Right. Exactly. So you do not want to overspend. Right. So you, you just want to do it so that you still have fun and just enjoy it. Yes. And you know, talking about fun, um, you know, we were having a conversation earlier around domestic tourism. And what you guys are essentially doing is domestic tourism because you're taking a, a bunch of people that are starved of entertainment and recreational things and exploring our country but having fun while at it. So we look forward to seeing what else is, is coming. So you've got Marondera on, on, on Saturday. Do you have anywhere else um, that's that's coming up in the pipeline? Yes, Mount Nyangani. Mount Nyangani. The 30th of March. On the yes. 30th of March. So, you know, a funny story. When I was about six, our family went to Mount um, Nyangani. And like you said, you know, you ask people, you know, what do you do here? Um, obviously, my parents got the heads up, but that didn't trickle down to me. <laughs> so, oh, you're six, so, I was six and I was <laughs> naughty, very inquisitive. I just got to go so she can the I'm gonna come on at you. Don't say anything, just look forward, keep on going. So ah, what happens in the morning? I, in the morning. I don't know what I saw because you know, the thing is, also, you know, these sacred mountains, you guys could have been seeing trees, but I saw something and I was like, Mama Chi. So then I pointed with my index finger and then Moche. So, those of you that don't understand, Shana, it's mist, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mist started descending. Wow on that mountain fortunately we left really quickly yeah. but you know little things like pointing you know you point with your with your thumb so those of you that are preparing to, to, to join that, that, no that pointers yes exactly so what, what are some do's and don'ts i suppose it depends on the place you know the yeah, place it, it the depends where the you place go. that you're going to so mm. for mount nyangani i know over time we'll, we'll be sharing that all that information on our whatsapp 
Instagram pages, Facebook pages, so that you're well prepared. Yes. Because you do not want in a case of you disappearing on us. We don't want any hey, surprises. No. no surprises. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you so much. It's been such an honor having you with us on Undeniably African. Do you guys have any shout outs? <clears throat> Let me go first. I'm the young guy. <laughs> shout out, shout out to my mom. I know she's not listening to this, but shout out to you. Amen. Dad, sister, brother, uncles, nieces, aunties, future wife. Oh, if wow. you're there listening right now, I was on the radio. Oh wow. Um King King okay. Dewey, Sunny. For um, the three seconds that you uh, now three have. Seconds. Uh, shout out to all the hikers <laughs> out there, man. Right. Come through, hit us up, look look us up on, on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, right. hikers ZW. Hikers ZW. So you heard yeah. it for yourselves. This is something else that you can do, something different. Hike, have fun. You know, exercise, have fun, and you know, have fun while you while you do it. Gentlemen, thank you so much. You, you are tuned in to you. Undeniably African. Time is 7.28. And what is so, 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 so important is you need to make sure you're wearing the right clothes. So invest in that. The next hike is this weekend. And then Mount Nyangani is on the 30th. Hear it from me. Do not point with your <laughs> index finger. Coming up next is Iconic African throwbacks as we await mic drop spoken word from Queen Peggy. She has to tell you how to pronounce the name because when I read it, it's U M I N D. So I wasn't sure. Is it you mind or mind? I don't know, but you're going to find out in a couple of moments. So, starting us off on iconic African throwbacks, we're listening to music from the continent that was incredible for its time. And we have got Papa Wemba. Let me know if you know this song